yeah, I have a uh, 8 o'clock uh, pickup appointment. What's your load number? Go ahead and pull to the scale. Make sure you have your hard hat safety vest, please. Okay, thank you. Over here in Kentucky at the uh, truck way station rest area on I-24. Uh, we're gonna take a quick 30-minute uh, break and then uh, we're gonna get back on the road. Let's uh, take a look at our load here. What we got. So these are steel beams we picked up this morning. Uh, nothing too crazy about them. About 44,000 pounds. Um, as you can see. I used chains and also used uh, two straps right there. But, uh, and then on my trailer, I have these little pop-up uh, chain chain attachments on my trailer here, so I use those. Uh, 
Now what I did do though is I have uh, I alternated my train. One goes that way with the binder on the passenger side. This one comes this way with the binder on this side. Um, I don't know. It's just a habit I have sometimes. So uh, and there's a strap. I just put two straps on there just because I don't know. It looks good. Uh, I like I like the way the straps kind of hold it tight. Sometimes chains can uh, work themselves loose a little bit. But uh, so anyway, that's what we got. And a little trick I do and I, is uh, the slack. I take the hook and I hook the hook back up on the chain right up there. That way you're slack. That way you don't have it all rolling around and everything. It's not going to fall off. If that hook comes off that chain, we got bigger problems than that. That means the truck's upside down. So, ah, uh, see what else we got going on here. That's about it. Uh, a big old forklift put it on one shot. Uh, then you can look in the back there. Oops, sorry. Uh, you can look in the back here. So, uh, so that's what we got. Just big old metal beams, about 44,000 pounds. We're going to deliver these uh, Monday morning in uh, Ohio, right on the state line with West Virginia. So uh, we, uh, we already got our reload out of Ohio uh, going to uh, Indianapolis. So uh, that would be a good thing. But, oh man, my truck is dirty. Look at the mud. I want to wash it, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Sunday, and I don't know, I just don't want to spend $90 wash my truck and then it rain again, but it's, it's riding all the mud yesterday, today, where we were today was all muddy, but it's a muddy mess. There's old Cali dog getting some fresh air. She's been a pretty good dog here the last couple of days. We've been cooped up in the truck with all the uh, all the rain and the crappy weather. So, all right, all right, all right. Let's uh, finish up uh, my break and uh, we'll get going. And we're trying to get up to uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, uh, we made it down here to Louisville. We're uh, sitting in the lot. Uh, we're going to take tomorrow off, uh, get a reset, uh, and then we're going to leave the dogs drinking water. Uh, and then we're going to leave Sunday uh, morning and head over to Ohio. we got about 300 and, oh, 320 miles or so to go for Sunday. But if we take tomorrow off, we'll get a reset on our clock. We won't have to worry about... Uh, we won't have to worry about hours all week. We'll be good to go. Uh, I've already got a load set up for Monday. We're going to load Monday um, out of Ohio going to over near uh, Indianapolis. Good little load. We're going to get back doing some short little loads. That's what I like doing. We've been running some long loads here the last uh, couple weeks. My light keeps turning. Um, so we're going to get back doing, I call them short and sweet. So uh, we're going to start knocking out some short and sweet loads for a while. All right, it's the end of the week. It's Friday. We've actually uh, had a pretty good couple of weeks. Uh, I talked to my dispatcher this afternoon, told her we've been doing okay. I mean, we could be doing a little bit better, but for right now, considering it's January, the first of the year, freight been a little hit and miss. Uh, you know rates are down just a little bit, but I've been reading the news and uh, They uh, you know, they're they're predicting uh, it's gonna pick up so uh, Hopefully 2017 be a good year So all right uh, Thanks for watching and uh, talk to you guys later